Hi, Russ of Aquarimax Pets here. This is probably one of the most underrated species in the genus Armadillidium. Today I'll be sharing a species profile of Armadillidium nasatum. First I'll introduce this species and some of its morphs. Then I'll cover care and housing. Next we'll discuss its applications for bioactive vivaria. And lastly we'll evaluate the pet and hobby potential of Armadillidium nasatum. This isopod species, like its relative Armadillidium vulgare, is fairly widespread in many parts of the world. It's often overlooked though, probably because it's so similar to Armadillidium vulgare to the untrained eye. Most people who see it would probably say, that's a roly-poly, or that's a pill bug, or that's a insert local name in applicable language here. The average observer might not even realize that it is a different species from Armadillidium vulgare, can be distinguished, however, from vulgare in several ways. One is the shape of its rostrum, or face. This shape is where it gets the name nasatum, which means nosed, or with a nose. This requires fairly close examination, but another easier way to distinguish the two is that a nasatum is less glossy than a vulgare. In my experience, adult a vulgare tend to reach a larger maximum size, but according to Orrin McMonagall's book, Isopod Zoology, Nasatum has the potential to get slightly larger. It just doesn't often reach that potential, apparently. The name nosy roly-poly is sometimes used, but in the hobby we usually simply refer to it as a nasatum, or nasatum. I've heard it both ways. Like other armadillidium species, Nazatum is quite capable of conglobating. There are not nearly as many morphs of Armadillidium nasatum as there are of some species, but it does have a few. I currently work with four. Armadillidium nasatum wild type usually sports a pattern of darker gray on lighter gray, but solid gray individuals do occasionally appear. Armadillidium nasatum peach was one of the very first, if not the first, color variants of pillbug in the hobby isolated by Oren McMonagall himself. It was one of the first that I ever kept, and its color ranges from a peachy tint to kind of cinnamon or tan, and the stock I have occasionally throws wild types. Armadillidium nasatum pearl is how the Dalmatian gene expresses itself in this species. It has a light background with varying expression of dark flecks. There are different lines of pearl out there, some of which have many more markings than the strain that I'm working with. I'm not even sure if these lines have independent origins, or if they are variants that are a result of line breeding. Armadillidium nasatum whiteout may be the most visually striking form. They appear to be completely without pigment. Even their eyes are white. If their diet contains carotenoids or other natural color-enhancing pigments, these can add a tinge of color. Uh, but without those, they are very strikingly white. There are a few other morphs out there, and keep in mind that all the morphs of this species are quite capable of interbreeding with one another. Before I talk about housing and care for Nasatum, permit me to thank my patrons at Patreon. There are a lot of ways to help support Aquarimax pets, and just by watching this video you're participating in at least one of them. From the standpoint of a creator, and as a patron, I've found that Patreon is a great way to provide support to the creators that you appreciate. If you'd like to help us out for as little as one US dollar a month, please click the link at the end of this video or in the description. Now on to the husbandry requirements for Armadillidium nasatum. There are a few somewhat picky Armadillidium species out there, but I would characterize nasatum as forgiving. While I prefer to provide them with a moisture gradient, this species is fairly tolerant of a range of substrate moisture levels. It's also able to handle different ventilation levels, but again, I like to provide moderate ventilation for this species. Nasatum is not particularly picky about foods. I offer my leaf litter, of course, as a staple, with fish food pellets and fruits and vegetables such as squash, wheat potato, carrot, apple, and so on. I would consider this species a moderately fast breeder. While not nearly in the same league as Porcelia Leva's dairy cow, for example, it's considerably more prolific than its close cousin, Armadillidium vulgare. As a candidate for a bioactive cleanup crew, this species is an excellent option for a wide variety of setups, as it tolerates so many different conditions. Humid vivaria, moderately humid vivaria, and even more arid vivaria, as long as it has a hydration station. 
It's prolific enough that it can still maintain a population when a few individuals become snacks for your reptiles or amphibians. If you'd like to see my videos on isopods for arid and humid setups, you can check them out up here. Now, let's talk about the pet or hobby potential of Armadillidium nasatum. As I said at the beginning of this video, this species is underrated. I've already talked about how undemanding it is in terms of care and that it reproduces very well. Though it doesn't occur in a profusion of morphs, none of the morphs of this species are particularly expensive and most of them are fairly easy to obtain. A. nasatum are also well established in much of the USA and many parts of the world, so you may be able to collect a free culture of wild types, though personally I've never found them in the wild in my area. In short, if you're looking for a hardy, prolific Armadillidium species that's a little different from the common pill bug, and is also an adaptable biocustodian suitable to a wide variety of vivarium types, Armadillidium nasatum is worthy of your consideration. I've been having a lot of fun creating these isopod species profiles. Check out the growing playlist, and then let me know in the comments which species you would like me to feature in a future video. Thanks for watching today. I post videos every Friday with live streams on Wednesdays, all on aquarium and vivarium pets, with special emphasis on isopods. Feel free to rate, share, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell for notifications all, so you don't miss my next video.